Hi, I'm Heidi with FR Safety, and I'm here today with Denise Staden from Bulwark Protective Apparel, a division of VF Imagewear. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. We're experiencing a lot of new companies coming into um, the gas and oil industries, a lot of new contractors, new employees, and we're here today to talk a little bit about flash fire and the garments that are able to protect them. Workers in the oil and gas industries who work in well drilling, servicing, and production related operations face a potential hazard of flash fire. A flash fire is a fire that spreads rapidly through a diffuse fuel, such as dust, gas, or the vapors of an ignitable liquid. Some FR clothing worn by workers in the gas and oil industry is further tested for its ability to protect against this hazard, flash fire. NFPA 2112 is the standard on flame-resistant garments for protection of industrial personnel against flash fire. NFPA 2112 is a nationally recognized consensus standard and it sets the minimum performance requirements for garments that are meant to be worn by workers who could be exposed to a flash fire in their workplace. OSHA issued a memo back in the spring of 2010 directed at companies whose employees engage in well drilling, well servicing, and other production related activities. The memo was particularly addressing the lack of compliance with the OSHA PPE standard, which is uh, CFR 1910-132. The memo uh, restated OSHA's long-standing policy that any worker who could be exposed to a flash fire on their job should be issued uh, flame-resistant clothing. Denise, how can an employer be sure that the garments that they're putting on their employees for, as protective personal equipment be compliant to OSHA's requirements? Good question, and as a part of the OSHA memo that came out in the spring of 2010, OSHA did say that meeting the requirements of NFPA 2112 would uh, ensure that an employer was meeting OSHA regulations. We've been getting a lot of questions since that time uh, about needing or requiring NFPA 2112 certified garments, and because of that, there's been a marked increase in the demand for certified garments. Now, OSHA cannot require that any garment or product meet a particular standard. Because the OSHA memo referenced NFPA 2112, an employer that chooses to issue NFPA 2112 certified garments to their employees can be assured that they're following industry guidelines for proper protection of workers who could be exposed to a flash fire. Denise, my customer needs to purchase winter wear certified to NFPA 2112. What advice can you give them um, while pending all of this winter wear certification? Good question. Uh, the first point about outerwear is that anything worn as the outermost layer in an FR clothing composite ought to be flame resistant. Um, and at a minimum, uh, a fabric should pass a vertical flammability test with no more than two seconds of after flame and the fabric should exhibit no melting or dripping. Great. Now the market is working very quickly to complete certifications on outerwear, but until that happens and until those garments are generally available, the best course of action is to issue NFPA 2112 certified daily wear, meaning shirts, pants, or coveralls, mm -hmm. and then FR outerwear to be worn over that. Denise, I want to reiterate for our users um, the value of having a garment, be it a shirt, pant, coverall, um, certified to NFPA 2112, as well as uh, how they can identify that garment as certified to that. Heidi, all FR garments provide some measure of protection to flash fire, but fabrics that are specifically going into garments that will be certified to NFPA 2112 are specifically tested for their ability to protect against flash fire. In addition to that, findings in fabrics going into these garments are tested by a third-party certifier like UL, and this just gives one additional measure of confidence that a garment will perform as it should in a flash fire event. So when a garment is, is labeled um, as compliant to NFPA 2112, tell me what we see on that label. NFPA 2112 mandates very strict labeling requirements. In addition to bearing the mark of the third party certifier, these words and the addition of the standard must appear on the label of a certified garment. This flame resistant garment meets the requirements of NFPA 2112 standard on flame resistant garments for protection of industrial personnel against flash fire. Beware of subtle changes in wording on the label that claim to meet a portion of the standard. The following language does not meet the requirements of NFPA 2112. 
Denise, thanks for taking the time to join us today and further help our users understand NFPA 2112. Thank you very much for the opportunity. We're happy to help educate on how to properly protect workers from flash fire hazard. Great. To view the full line of Bulwark Protective Apparel certified to NFPA 2112, go to www.frsafety.com and click on Gas and Oil Clothing or shop by brand and select Bulwark.